Hi, and welcome to this Extronical Quickie. In this episode, we're going to look at how to play MP3s from an SD card on your ESP32. Roll the titles. Is that it? <sighs> First things first, the parts list. On screen now, pause if you want. Affiliate links for all items are in the description below. We're using the Max 98357A in this example, but other I squared SD coders will probably work, but you'll have to sort out the wiring yourself. Talking of which, I've been through this in my previous video, link in the description and above, but on screen, for your delight, is a full circuit. I'm not going to explain everything again, just connect as you see here. There are two decoders and speakers because this plays stereo sound. If you're not sure how to set up the decoders to do this, then you must see, and it is a must see, my previous video where I go through this in detail. Because there are a couple of little hardware things you need to do to those decoder balls. D decoder balls? <laughs> decoder boards. <laughs> if, uh, yeah. If your, if your balls can decode, yeah, th then that's talent. Moving on. On my real board, you'll see a capacitor. This is just there because of an issue with uploading to this particular ESP32 board. One thing to note, be careful on SD cards. I had one in my parts bin that I used with an Arduino and was fine. Then it wouldn't work with my ESP32. This was because it had a voltage regulator on it that was fine for pulling the Arduino's 5 volts down to 3.3 volts that it needed. But when supplied with 3.3 volts from the SP32, then obviously it didn't work. A quick hack job to disconnect this regulator and bypass the power from the SP32 to the regulator's output pin sorted all that out. The one I've linked in the description below is the SP32 friendly with no alts required. Just double check. If you don't buy that one, that you, it does work. Whatever you get works with the SP32. The SD card must be formatted to FAT32 format, and all file names must be eight characters or less in length for the main file name, and then you've also got three for the extension. Otherwise, the SD card library won't see it. I've put an MP3. Start again. <laughs> I've put an MP3. My words today. I've put an MP3 file on from YouTube Copyright Free Music Library. In addition. The library supports many sound formats, not just MP3. Have a look at the GitHub page for the list of supported types. Libraries. Now, usually I just get you to go up to Tools and we'll go Manage Libraries and we'd actually get the library and install it from the actual Arduino Library Manager. However, at the time of videoing this, this library that I'm going to use is not available on the Libraries Manager. So we're going to have to do it a little bit more of a manual way. So if you go to this website here on GitHub, when I say website, I mean go to GitHub for this project page. And you can see even if you just type in that into Google, that should find you to this page. And this is the library we're going to use for I squared S. It says usually somewhere that it's play MP3 files from an SD via R squared. So to get hold of this library, we click clone or download, and we'll just click download zip. And when that's done, go back to our Arduino, and then we'll go to tools, sorry, sketch, include library, add zip library. Now I've already got this installed, but I'll take you through the process of what you would do to get it installed. And then you go to your downloads, wherever your downloads go on your machine. There it is, you double click that, and that would install it into the Arduino IDE. But I'm not going to do that, because as I said, I've already got it installed. This is a demo we're using, based on the one from the GitHub page, but with all the extra stuff we don't need removed. You can see we just put the file name of the file name, file name of the file name, Gordon Bennett. Oh, let's try again. Get my words right. You can see we just put the file name of the file here and we're good to go. Remember, max eight characters. Let's power up the board, which already has this on, and we'll have a listen.
More advanced features such as external volume control and playing files one after the other will be covered in later videos. So that's it for now. Hope this has shown how easy it is to play MP3s on your ESP32. If you like the video, then hit like, or at the very least, press it gently. If you'd like to see more, then you know what to do with that subscribe button. Thank you to my patrons, and for those that patronise me, and thank you very much for watching and making it to the end. Till next time.